Global Alternative Education Forum 2005. This is the first of its kind, uh, organized by Sebol and Julia Ladakh in collaboration with uh, CIBS, Lee. And uh, I would welcome our guests from Japan and Denmark uh, and Canada in particular. And then at the same time, I would like to request uh, my foreign guests to allow me to speak in Ladakhi uh, so that uh, most of our uh, audience can understand what I want to uh, express. Uh, sorry. Just the Nigisha Hagutis if you are Nietene Mangusik, Matane, E. Global Alternative Education Forum, Bo Chifia, Matane, and Chukspin, the Kasu process shaker, Matam Dringika Lebs, the Kanbo, the big Nisha Shin introduction. Na Inna Matane Changit Lopte, Tesanaman me, Lokjuk in, in pin. Uh, say to Chilachikstong Yagarnang Yapo Matang International Cooperation Juano Matang Chigal Nang Yapo Chigal Nanga Ostom Yotkane Chigal Zanata Japan Chosne Chigal Bao Matang Yagar Gustino Tenetena Kaskar Ladax Putes and Emet Pin Gumagoma Tenga South Indian Nanga Project Mapik Nata Jospin Kaskar Tenish Soxenanga Ostom Yotkane Matang Yabo Mayor Gasuya Tugi Yagasuya Yontan Indo Yamata Mana Namina Toxic Yotino the Zuk last week Jonio Pin the testing. Japan now telling at Ladak Spinang uh Delji Manamiru Kalasam Kanbo. The Teve Ka telling a Julia Ladakzer Kanata Suspect Zura Suspect not the Teo Tsuk spin the Teo Tsuk says thing netting as a study towards the Rijikta. Japan Pamang Pujik, the Nangata Ladak like on stay, Ladak says called uh Lobjoma Pek Jospin. The Tel Lobjong Gunanangne Matame Ladak say Yontane Scorla, Ladak and Matame, uh Chisoxe Scorla, Yar Chisoxenama, Scalas Bardo Scorla, Yamata, uh Tim's Galaman Pegeton of Matame, uh Chosyoton of Tesukun Scorla Mon Peg Jan Dictam, the Tema Yam Punya Potin as a Gamul Gunanang uh last man in that pin. The Tevina Chik Chik the Nata Daksa is several juks in Jitan Kong Mata group chick juxta to not in a con and jal to Tonomata Mata uh Ladaksana Chospa Pomata, Yoteno Tunan Jal Tes Beraman Peg Song. Then it tell Chazan and Haja, the E. Lord Juvenanga, a Mampuzi Tur Tonki, Kazuk Mata, Chigal Gunanga, Yarias Jigioma, Tigun Mata, Lena Matern, Ladaksananga, the big Maleva Menova, some country. Yot Yotte in Tik Duk, Manguric Nata Yote, no, the Tegun, Tarumani Chun, Tegune, the Nata, understanding Bo, the Nama Union, the understanding Chaches, but the Nama Kaspegan, you know, the Nata, Yontanji Nata, Lobza, Nata, Loma Pig, Skuljiga, Sonte, Yergan, and Nente, Manata, Loma, Hagon, the Natsosla, the Nata Chigalunanga, Isuzu Yergas, the Gizuzu Scalation, Nato, Isuzu Chizerzo. Chosun Mampe, Canata, Scalascon, Selamo, Tene Teve Canetina, Teo Patasonke, Archigal Gunatene, Education Banam, Chick, Nispat, and Alternative Education Zerkanjang, Dam Diringa, Hot Topic, your Tate and a being inducted today, being chess pochin of Junava, Totinata, Yargas Banamampe, this Manashanti Yargas in China, Mangstanko, Bantal of Siga Chanavato, Tetis and Nata, Yuntan Bega, Shkun Kaldibabe. Chigal Gunanga, Yuntan, because Kum Kalte, Tinatana, Yuntan, and Matan Chikao, Madiga, and all the Kanjik Zer Tate, Madiga Zerkan Zerjan and Yampo, Tegun Lako, Nax Joste, Teuman, Patla Manota, Dushbani Chosa, the Sixty Mani Chami Rubale, Mani Sambach and Miman Pigot, and also Bapone, Matan Yuntan to Kanampo, you know, the Majus, the Speratan State, and Konamanata, Chik Yurte, and a Speratan State. Success, Kalasino, Tanhota, Yontanina, Indo Yamata, Sarkare Lasina, Indota, Yule Lasina, Indo Chisina, Norsimata, Manio, and the Yomatan and Yapoteo, Skion, Colin Yatkal and Dugna, Totanata, Chizer Chos, 
Global alternative education forums are in the same way. It is not 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 in the same way. ちょっとやがたらだってな、ちょっとやがたら、テスティングのテーブルがラクレンチョーナミチョーっていうのがたんらんらんやらないのかまた、え、メッカメッチギャラコーンにずくちょろくずやちのにゃんぽんがたんら
ikane lance de je molna education chia zano zarkani concert peka nije opinion bo matan sangme dun laborna tiu tsanga sang goma guzuk po otuk shen ye chuen sama tenenge yonten chie zeno hala tiu ngara es sambe na ngara opinion bina tsek shinge a juna yonten zena ngata kia zena mina hala gala na tua chik nisi ono hala tenenge Jalan cukup pe pe yang kanjar kau zaman no kau jalan no tuh sih pe yang kanjar tuh la yang tan zat eh zaman no sama raya le. Ni sana tuh bezu jin le kau kira yang yang tan zakan bawa zuk jin no zena yang tan zakan ini dilihat jadi apa na ngari sambil zuk jin dar kau kira na yang tuh kira na tan pucu jadi zuk sih kaya le. Oh zuk sih kau kira sama le. Tapi yang tan jana dah tuh ngari zuk jin tuh zena mati itu nak saya kira macam buli ga. Kau kira na dah jawat jawat macam ni pas mulakan nasi. Tampu kira na tahu hujung hujung, halal. Tahu hujung jangan tanya bu. Tapi minat tu tiang kat par tu je, hendak halal. Tapi yuntan jangan tanya bu cido je, na tahu kira na flor flor ipa serap kira na gasen gasen caca jalan. Tapi lah kan susu jono, atau asal kerja sih muspa kira zamia. Tapi yuntan jangan tanya bu susu cido kau kira na tiap flor ipa serap kira gasen gasen semua tanya bu. Mie kurang de isu gile. Yutan jangan pada jigna jangan tanya pun dengan kata isu samsul jiun. Kau kena last cik cik na. Dari jika isu sasya pandi tak kau ni kalau saya isu sistem tu, siksa cian. Ribas cian na culu mika jikten jawab kau na leh lupa. Tapi bahang kicu cuci dengan siapa dengan lirik cian jadi. Last kasu isu cian na kata orang tak caca cukup senang tu. Tapi yang tanya na kasu isu pan tu orang orang ni sambil na isu si dah kau kena. Last kasu isu cian na dekat orang tak caca jadi sekarang macam hati santik tu benda ni. Isu orang cuci benda ni orang mana ni mana cakap sen dah rena. ก็คิดเลยมาดูว่าสมควรมันเป็นยังจีโกสมันเป็นยังชาร์ปสติโรโกสกาคาร์นัตันลาสโซเปชุลลาชิกเซียนัตันเจียชาร์ปสติโรน
ngatan ketena ranga ka ichhes ya self confidence ngatan ske chuk duk ngatan sambha ketena ma gechin mo ha vision bo ketena ma isuk broad charuk te fengi te sara pale yontani ketena ngatan rok chungen che nok lekin zangpa nang nanpa gutches po yontan chikpe ka rag last miruk yontan manpa tene ngatan ayang sambha zang poske che chik ngatan ayang nuspa soze ginti duk tuk samara lagla yontan poche yo nok samara nyele zangam phe che che spo zangpo nang ngatpa phe che che spo yontan yo nok Tio sil se se zang yon tan na lo masil se na yon tan zang po ka yin ngam pa yin ka yin zakan po ta te pe zang po ka yin zakan po ngam pa kan kwalang bo se zgos zang po te yon lo ra la sik cho se se ma na sam bek sam se lu zuk se ka na la sik cho se se me na sam se ra skit po yon ra to pa ang skit po yon jik sen bo ang skit po yon sang ma skit po yon sang ma se ba se dia si si tak pa skit na ko na na duk cha se skit na ngam duk cha sik yon She said, "Sing and cry. Sangyasi go bang thumb 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 by chaja shik. You cry some na yod na kato. Did you cry on? Skit na na yod na kato yod na kato. What you cry pia yod na na no. Yang ten na to la cry on skit na na to mandi na no. Cry topa nang kang ma na to skan di topa yulmi kimjes. Did you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. What you cry on skit na na yod na kato. Yundan mana yudam itu nak semua. Jadi sebenarnya apa tu? Tapi kasih. Rangkaian sama. Tapi yang dek tu la seminar sosial deh. Ma jala so. Tiwa deh ma jala je cah cah. I. Tu je cah cah je ini. Yang dek saya deh. Ngadi ya kusul deh la ni aja. Tak sah shung cembur nala. Di sini ngobo tua yang dek tada tua ni senjik ya deh. Di sini saya sana deh yang cah cah deh la saya tu na. Pena tadi itu tu je mida mampu cepatnya mida bocah mampu je jas tanzin nyesi ke tahun hari se tadi tengke cepatnya mida pada tu tahun kosna cipya sana tadi tengke cepatnya mida pada supaya tadi itu invasion tu peracik aja di tangsa di susu aino di kan itu education set, raba yang tu di kerja cile set aino sana di yang tu di ngaji sampai la Tanah saja pensyen kunga jenseng kes, raba yang dengan dana jauh kin madu payah dua juru sebab yang dengan terasa. Di tempat yang dengan kasut jelah sedih ini sihuna penas. Ngadi ke sung nalu yoban asih se. Ngadi semua la negap je dua dua je dah terduduk dua dua ni aja. Dua 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 betul dulu. Raba negap ke dua dua dulu la penas lupa dah je na zinda tampo ni sonda ajar pad pas je gugurai. आजर पास छह साल जब पीछे डिडी छह घूम रहे थे मैं बाय यहाँ सीधे के लेकर चंगे जैसे सीधे के चाव कांदा कांदा तेरा ला ओ यहाँ मिसे के ये दिन छह घूम रहे कांदा धोर तो है ना नेगा रबा जंबुल के चीजों नल जवाब चेता था लुटो ना लोग जो चाय के रिंबा जी मांगपुर चुए दिए नो तेरा ला मोंग Dil sejauh ni sampai tu. Cita yang dengan saya di ngobrol kandis ini, saya yang korang di lecture dila, macam yang dengan saya labuh ni. Dila cakap saya nanti macam mil sampai tangsun bayi nanti ni kalau lujur yang dengan lecture ni, ngaji yang dengan lecture ni, seni yang dengan lecture ni. Anu lujur yang dengan saya na susu sugi kende mana lecture sila bayi na, anu dila lujur yang dengan saya. Anu ngaji sampai tangsun bayi na susu kerja sih yang dikalai kende cakap dia na yuk ni, tak kerja dia jago si tak tahu tumbas sila na. Andi ngaji yang dince, ane sem dila sangen nazos ligre, ta sem sangburi depan yusan eh, ane pa yaburi de sulle dila ane sem yang dince, kanda yang dince di susu lunga la rangsir yue tengke jadi yang dince, ane cello ki di ne kegen dah kido dah sume ki caya di di ki lopso, di yapus he ki lopso, tablam dang su yang dince di cik manor baju des tinis kej bu medo sam stacci dang Tata tang shulu mang nang lola ani seyun seyun selegi deh ta seyun tang yonde ni deh pasi tu nanti cepat rosak main rosak sami tu ina seyun des cik jaga rosak na irkisin seledi seyun les sedih. Kalau generasi tu mula rak stakcat puang kata yon tanzin stakcat kau jalana tua ina yapes kasuk seyang kata pen tua kata yon tanzin. Tene tua mat pa silces dices cipu mat pa te sang ma samsul se gya caya cius te Jangan mereka juga sampai tangan kata antara yang tanzirin. Song pasang mizan tangan kata yang lopsias mama pergi kerja. Tapi school system bina kau kira kata dah sah kata sama school alam cuan orang lah. Tu sama alam cuan alam cuan mana? Kata yang tanzirin cuan alam cuan mana? 
Tatevena chi satya, rilin satya. Chik pe chik pe rilin chacheshik. Chitoshik toba zen, topo chito ba lamakin. Songpa, tangi tiwan yispa teotin. E education system bena, kije kaukshik dang den experience chuen yot. That's a true loptung momo poji experience chuen yot yak. Kazuk mise putang zignatan kaukshi a charuk, ya kauk yuntan zignatan, yuntan zero. Tung yuntan natan kaukshi a zergoso. Yuntan yi system bena yu kaukshi a chutgoso. Natan sirif silches, riches, chipo academic education manpa, tewe pilowa kandan kazuachen. Tung natan system bena yung moshes po chia kachandu. Songpa tewe ka nije samsuljik, nije molna, tenyak de yu mal dea chachara. Moshkotse. Then some person ni tase chi shatje in the Kangu Kale and some suits of Shigra. Some person sang me some Gomatangi school and Delpa, then it's a quotation jigs and Gauma, me Kaspaj Jigten and Kap, Tasa and the Mark to in the other. Kongi Mitsen and Chiza Dugana, I have never let the school to interfere in my education. The Kayo Tonta Pojuna Demba, Jan the school boy Katan Mitse, Mijig, Mitsen Aizam Gamzajik do. Kau kata nang rang macam macam ni guru ni orang tu. Suci rang rang milam sosok aja. Kau kata milam sambil nale ngayu guru ngayu guru. Nama milam cemoh jatuh. Tiu tiu milam bo dene dua tujuh jam. Kau kata sekolah aja. Walau. Maka tak cik cakap kau kata sekolah nak kau kata tiu milam bo dua tujuh ni nama. Sopan sang kata education itu tanpa kau kata tiu guru nama. Sopan sang education itu tanpa kau tahu orang nama suci ngah suci zakan bo rang suci zakan bo ngah tujuh tujuh na. Yang nama ngah sejuk tujuh na tiu tanpa kau kata tiu education bo dengan guru nama. So, pasang tasa kaleng era mungkin nanti na, dan school na dalam tu yang nasta mungkin kasus itu tu tu boleh cik jelas dah halal. So, pasang school sampai na halam juga tu, dering leci pun mana, bada cik pun mana, jagar cik pun mana, segel gampai na halam sampai na sok seno gel. Kau kaya dengan mangsa teachers guna indo, ya kaya dengan suci guna mangsa selebas ya, teh jukma kaya dengan bangsa main. Ince se main tuan tak boleh kaya dengan lapje se cik dering yang topik cik itu. Tetapi tontap pochi, no, tetapi macam mana ini berlaplen, kau sengatan cik cik ni nama, zakan boh hawa cuk ni nama. Tetapi so pasang, sambil sambil yontan ni top peka, sambil sambil gomata, mana gerga ni kaya kaya tanam, mana khas cemoh jitu tu sama lah. So pasang, tetapi tu sambil ni kaya tanam, rana milam, tetapi cemoh jitu tanam. Bawa tu kaya tanam dua tujuh jam mana, taruh education system ni nama, kerja santai kau mana. So pasang ini sok, dengan ini sok kaya boh kaya tanam, tetapi sok cik ni nasa nama, ini sekitar sama cik ni nak kaya boh kaya tanam. Dengar orang kata sambil ferry sos kap sambil jik sos education system ni cik tu kat sos orang kata natural cara uzur kan ni kap tu macam tu. So pasang tarun education taksa system boleh kita ni sambil nama ni fit meter muka. Tapi kata sama orang guys ini, tapi dah ni ini cokan dia cokan mana mampu jadi ni mana kurang induk seno hari. Tapi ni tuan tuan kau zat tu dah ni yang dah ni ni cakap patut minum zat tu dia seno. Dah ni yang dah ini dia cokan tapi jadu tangga lama dangerous kasih tu zat tu. Ini ni samsur buat tuan kau kita nak kong cuntu istana, ini jangan tuan rata sekarang kita tuan duali. Jauh kita tuan mah cik mana sama lah, ini kong samsur itu degree cipu jus pa, M jus B jus tu education ini sam duali. Jauh kita tuan mah mana sama lah ni sam biana, ini sakya pandi tuan kongga kita tuan kong sam susu tu leh. Hasba lompet tuan nasduk dewa cunah khal misi, dewa cunah cak pada cipu dewa thob misi sini. Di biang kita tuan kita tuan rata sekarang buat tuan mah ini sini itu ko. Barusan jadi cuci semua kerjaan tu tu. Ah, gen lema spiral doang malls. Tapi na tanpa nintik doang. Nata, nata school system bena intelligence zarkan bawa mana gerja sih amiru. Jadi nata tuh sih gelap dok copy jauh zarkan jek. Kuas stos zarkan jek. Diri ngah syarok kan jauh zarkan jek. Macam apa? Niapa? Diri ngah modi jauh zarkan jek. Macam apa? Ngah otsal orang dusi nak apa? Otsal orang dusi na cina nuspe gitu. Otsal orang dusi tiada sabar dusi apa? Ngah zabar dusi ya cuci jauh zarkan. Tiap mana? Tapi kan ini cik ceruk sena, nanti an creativity zerkan, samlo tangsis, intelligence zerkan boleh tor cerua. Tasa gini mal demo mora. I intelligence boleh kau growth top goshes yot, potential boleh kau growth top goshes yot. Tiap school system bena nanti an matop kan bo, mana salbo cerua tata men. Ah, tapi tasa ini kau mah samjak demo demo ni kau macam tu. Sun pasal ada, ah, mana ni tu ke? Si gula ni tu ke? Cakap misses kan cikiri. Gombal dan tu kan eh, dah wajib macam ini. Sumpah sangat lah. Tadi tu gue start je tangan cik tanya po. Tene tadi ina itu kita sistem ina ngah. Nada cik nak bantu kita ngah. Gombal dah sana dengar gue ina ngah. Kau tu risiko yang ngah. 
ตาเตนาเคตาเตนาจะลักษณะจีนเราอยู่ในกาตัวงานละงานตั้งลุจุนเจ้าสานะคุลงบ่สังกุจิเมนนาเตนลาสโบกาสุเชนกาสุมิจ
ตินงาตาจับราเวนาจับยูอะจิตินิจังกอรนังกอจับยูอะจิตินิสดูตินิจังเวกาตินิสดูลักบาทฮัมสเตตินาตุเคนตินาตุโมจิตุสมักกีง
in the Danish alternative education, two persons uh, philosophical, philosophically most important. So please. These are Grundtvig and Christian Kohl. So, Grundtvig is a so important person for Danish people. So please. He was a Protestant priest and a national poet, please. And he was also a historian. He wrote history of Nordic countries and educational philosopher, please. So at the last time, he was election to the member of parliament. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gruntab is very most important person for Danish people. Therefore, in Copenhagen, there are some statues of Gruntab located. Please. Oh. <laughs> so today I have not so much time to explain, so I tell you only his two important concepts. One is the living world, in Danish, the Lebende, or, please. Second is interaction, in Danish, Bexel Birkening. So, please. Okay, stop. He says, the written words cannot appeal to deeply hurt. He hated written words, though nevertheless he was a writer. It's ironical. So next. Only the word, sincere dialogue, can move our hearts. Please. The living word must be mother tongue. It means language of the people. Please. Man can become an enlightened and educational person through the living word. So please. From these thought results the following. The education in school must use our own mother tongue, please. The dominating language, for instance, in the past time Latin, now English, should be excluded as much as possible, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, it uh, went out, yeah. So, education is good. Uh, so, so, please, yeah. Grundby says that the school which teaches Latin is a dead school. So, at that time, the Latin is necessary to enter the university. Now we can say the school which teach in English, a kind of dead school. Please. The school which teach in the living words, that is local native language, a school for life. It means in Ladakh, the school which teach every subject in Ladakh is school for life. But I heard all the school in Ladakh teaching English without Ladakh subject. I'm afraid this station will uh, exterminate Ladakh language and Ladakh culture in the future. My opinion, universal language, 
by which people communicate each other should be free from any political, economical, military, and cultural power like English. Esperant must be re evaluated now. So please. Grundby's second important concept is interaction. Please. Grundby inspired deeply by the German idealism. Fichte, Schering, Helda. I am a specialist of them. So please. The, my view is the concept of interaction came from the thought of Fichte, German philosophy. Please. He says, man can get his self-identity by approving another person. So, man works on an another person, and the another person reacts to him. So this working on respect others' will and the personality. It's difficult, yeah? Responsibility of another person, it develops those points each other. So in short, an individual grown up to be human being between human beings through interaction and dialogue. This thought is received by Gruntby and he developed it as the following. So firstly, interaction between the different persons, classes, and groups develop their personal and social Enlightenment, please. An individual can get his identity through an interaction or dialogue in the living world or local native world, please. So Grundby thought boarding school very important for that. So Grundby gave the idea of Horkeho School in English Folk High School. About Danish Folk High School, Jon will explain exactly after me. So please e expect his presentation. Okay, next year. Now I tell you wonderful teacher, Christian Kori. He was a practice of Grundbygian education. At that time, he was called master of the living world. So he was founder of Danish alternative school, free school, after school. So he was a reformer of the Danish alternative. Uh, sorry, uh, produce following alternative schools in them. So free school is a private elementary school, and in addition to that, some schools have a lower, lower, lower secondary course. Then after school, is a boarding school for 14 to 18 years old pupils. It is boarding school. Then Folkehoi School. 
Jorge Oscore is a boarding school for adults. Usually young generation over 18 years old visit this Jorge Oscore before they go to university. But any age over 18 years old is acceptable. You too. So next. So future of Cor's educational movement is the following. So creative subject is very important, like arts, music, singing, dance, outdoor activities, handcraft work, etc. We should learn for life, our own or society life, not we should run for our high career or high qualification, please. So teacher must respect to ch ch children's will. So please. Most important is making the place where children free, happy in a school. So now I quote Koro's book, but he wrote only one article. Please. Yes, please, yeah. Yes, please. Okay, stop. So he wrote, Life is our school is like that, our prison and collective institutions. The young ought to be happier and freer in the school than anywhere else. His book was on the school for children. Please. Yes. A famous modern French philosopher, Michel Foucault, denied in 1968 School system is the same discipline institute as prison. Koru knows this truth about hundred her child to thrown up the food it has just received. It means examination only torments children, and examination cannot really educate children. So please. So last, yeah. Oh, oh, two, two. Yes. Sorry. I, 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 I will show some photo, but it's shown went. So in Danish free school, it's a very, it, uh, atmosphere is very free. So some, some children doing silk screen workshop and uh, painting. So, and one pupil, make in a school his own secret base in a forest, school forest. So when I was a child, I made also my secret base camp in a forest in Japan, but it was a past story. But in Denmark, still, children This, this one. So, so next, please. So, more. More, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, examination is very important, yeah? So, Cory emphasized in imagination. He wrote primary school teaching. Oh, 
next year. Please, yes. More, okay, oh. <laughs> So he wrote, primary school teaching is guilty of the fact that it has attempted to, to speak almost exclusively to reason and only partial to the feelings, while imagination and perception has been almost completely left out. It means he was very angry for the school to ignore total imagination. At the present, we know well the importance of imagination, but he insists on that about 160 years ago, he was much earlier than, for instance, Neil Steiner, Frene, or some modern pedagogic theorist. It's also amazing. So I now showing the photo concerning imagination. This is silk screen, please. Woodcraft and, oh, <laughs> just a moment. This is a classroom of dance. So pupil go, goes around circle classmate. So she saw me when I take a picture, camera. Then she stopped in front of me. Then she paused and cried, please. Yes, please. So this is after school teach riding. So take care of uh, horses, nourish much sympathy. This is the Frankebe Efta School. The people doing here ecological organic farming. That's like that. So, Grundbegian Alternative School influenced Danish compulsory education. So, In the Danish compulsory education, until seventh grade, there is no examination, school mark, as I explained. So one class under 25 pupils under the law, but in reality, its average number is pupil is 19, 19 in one class. If the parents will found any new alternative school, the government must pay the 75% of maintain cost. But now it is a little bit, various case, yeah. All school, including municipal school, should be managed by the school board. The board member uh, average 12. At least two board members must be pupil in a municipal school. There is a 10th grade after finish nine, comp nine years compulsory education. Children can run one year more According, accord, according to their will. So Danish, yeah, municipal schools are very strong, strongly influenced by this Danish alternative education since 160 years ago. So, now, at the end, I show the part of the Japanese TV program. Maybe. 
There is no sound, unfortunately. Sorry. Denmark is well known as a high social welfare state. In the, this country, examination is called a forbidden. About 160 years ago, educational people's movement arose. arose. People wanted to get their children back from the school. Parents built the free school, which have no examination, no marks. The school is called free school. It means independent school free from governmental control. So, this is the people's daily life. He is an officer of the Ministry of Education. He says, this is a Danish tradition. Many people, including politicians, think it is not so good to put the pressure to the children. There is no official text book under the governmental control. Children can choose their own level of the text book. Teachers take care of the each children's ability. So, as I said, creative subject is very important. This is hand class. So, this is dancing. Expression is very important in this class. So, as I said, the class average number is in Denmark 19, in Japan over 30 pupils. He said, I know every pupil what ability they have. Over certain people, I cannot know children. But you are Japanese, you have an examination, he told us so. He's a headmaster. So, after school show more Danish characteristics of alternative education, teenager have some complain to adult to society. So Danish EFSA school receives such problems teenager who graduated elementary school. This, these school, EFTA school are boarding school for teenager. He says, I felt a little strange, go to directly to high school and university. Now I put the break. So very, very good friend. I found out a boyfriend here. This after school, very nice teacher, uh, very kind. He said so. So he also, he says, I'm uh, after school is a kind, kind of school for moratorium. He think one year. In after school, the relation with friend, relation with parents. After school located the countryside. So this is uh, what is that? Making a hat, felt hat. So Danish people like uh, felt hat. He says. So, students have normally done the same work in the school. They are so tired and feeling boring. So, pupils, they like to change their situation. He said so. Cooking in the school is also an important subject. They make them by themselves their food, meals in a school. She say, 
more and more to be part of something I feel. I learn to live with many people together without being ignored. I think I learn many things here. She says, my friends help me when I something happened to me. I have good friends here and teachers who helps me when I feel sad. Oh, it's end. <laughs> Sorry. So, about seventy percent of school budget came from the state. So each after school has its own character. So these are Danish, uh, some part of Danish alternative education, preschool, after school. Soon, Young will explain about folk high school. He was a folk high school teacher. So this is, so it, the Danish Grundbegian alternative school movement from my view, it think about the children very well, like French novelist saint Perry, you know, little, he wrote famous fantasy, Little Prince, in French, Petit Prince. So in his book, he wrote, every adult was a child in the past time. But few adults remember they were child, uh, children. So I think the people in Radak can build such school, free school, alternative school in their own way. So a uh, purpose is protecting the culture, your culture, your language, your lifestyle. So we must protect against globalization, our folk culture, folk language, folk religion. So I think you can, and the Danish alternative education can some contribute to your uh, brave object. So, Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, and good morning, uh, even though it's uh, getting later than it should. Um, a little bit of what I'm saying is overlapping with what Mitsuru said, but I think it's sometimes good to hear things twice, then you understand it better. So uh, I will talk to you as, as a folk high school teacher. I have been a folk high school teacher for 28 years. And the main thing I will tell you, it is about our methods of education, our alternative methods of education. Before I come to that, I'll show you just four, four slides where I put folk high schools into a little bit historical context, so you know that. Because it's also interesting uh, why, <clears throat> why are folk high schools, after schooler, free schooler, so accepted in Denmark. They would not so easily be accepted in, in other uh, countries. So there is an explanation of that, and it is history uh, that they have been there for so many years. The first thing I would like to say that the Folk High School uh, is a non-formal uh, uh, education. It means it is outside the primary, secondary university uh, line. So it's something you come to on top of that. So you come three or five months to a residential place, a boarding school where you live, uh, and then you get some education, uh, which is, uh, what shall I say, something you, you like or you need, or which is com complementary to, to the formal education. So non-formal education and folk high schools they are for adults, you have to be over 18. Uh, after schools, as we call them, they are from 14 to 18. And then we have free schools for children. So we have these three dividing lines. I'll mainly tell you about folk high schools. 
for, for people over 18. And it's non-formal, and it's an institution already started in 1844, that you should know. And it's a boarding school you already know. So next, next, uh, next, uh, yeah. I'd like to historically uh, tell you three points wh which was important for the uh, founding of the folk high schools. There was one in Denmark, there had been an agrarian reform in 1788, which made it possible for independent um, farmers to emerge. So, so a new class of, 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 of independent farmers, they got their own land and their own interests, uh, etc. Uh, and, and it was not very small farmers and it was not big farmers. It was a kind of middle farmers. And then another thing from the 19th century, in 1814, we got a law saying that all should receive at least seven years of, of education. So after some years, beginning of the 19th century, all could at least read and write and know a, a bit of, uh, of Christianity and so on. That was what they learned. And then uh, also in the middle of the uh, 19th century, there was a struggle for democracy, uh, ending up with a free constitution, which gave people freedoms. But it was only limited freedoms, because, uh, for instance, women, they didn't get voting right before 1920. So it was only a partial democracy. But anyway, next. Uh, yeah. Could I also say another thing regarding these peasants? They uh, started a lot of their own movements. They, uh, 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 I should have said that to the other uh, uh, slide. They started also the cooperative movement. So all over Denmark, they started cooperative uh, slaughteries, dairies, uh, uh, shops, etc. Two, they uh, started their own banking system, uh, sparkassen, saving banks, which was also run by the farmers. And then thirdly, and that was the most unique of everything, they started their own educational system uh, uh, parallel to, 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 to the state system. And it was folk high schools for young people, uh, after school for, 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 for teenagers, and then free schools. So it all came up from this uh, new class of, of, of farmers. So it came from below. It was development from below. That was how Folk High School started, uh, from the farmers. They have later changed. I have uh, already, there has been said a lot about Grundvi. So I would like to have more time to, to the rest. So we take the next. I have already uh, said something uh, about him. Yeah. So, so what happened, uh, really, uh, in around 1844, it, it was the convergence of three developments, wh which have to be there if a strong social movement has to be there. there, there was um, there was a class a group in the society, the farmers, they have become independent, etc. They were strong, they made their own. Uh, uh, organizations, and they tried to get more power in society. They didn't have it in the middle of the 19th century. It was still uh, uh, Copenhagen, the center, uh, big landowners, uh, uh, big educated people, etc. But there was this farmers group which started all those new organizations from below. And then there was Grundvi, which we have already heard about, which came out as, as, as the leader of this whole development, creating songs which were sung all over in the folk high schools, which created a new concept of history. Uh, so the history books which was read, it was made by Grundvi. Uh, he, he also made a new uh, uh, interpretation of pro Protestantism called Grundvigianism, which was more, more people-oriented. So you see, there was a class of people, there was a leader, and there was ideas at the same time. So, so, so therefore it took roots in Denmark. And after some time, around 1900, 
it was those ideas which, which could take over and be strong in our society. So, so the center, Copenhagen and all the bureaucrats, etc., they had to bow for this strong development from below. So, so, so this history we should never forget, and that's, that's why we have it as, as a part of Denmark. No political party today, right or left, uh, dare to talk about the folk high schools and, and this whole historical development. But we should never forget it came from below and not from the center. Uh, next. I, I think we go on to the next. Yeah, so now I start really what is in my heart to tell you today. Something about uh, the practice of a folk high school. So, so, so what is in my heart? And first of all, we think of the whole human being. We think of holistic education. What is holistic education? It's education where there is a unity between the mind, the brain, uh, the heart, and our hands. Let's be more concrete. Uh, if we take the mind or, or the brain uh, and, and we think of, uh, of, of subjects, then it's, of course, mathematics and language and geography, etc. That's the mind, logic, uh, and so on, learning. Then there's our heart, and our heart, it is uh, our feelings, etc. And we should all learn to express our feelings. We should all learn how we can use dance and poems and, uh, and music and, and, and all these creative subjects should be a part of all kinds of school systems at all levels. And uh, is it that today? No, it's not that today. If we look at our universities, they are big brain factories. They are somehow developing people with big heads. If we had to draw it, it would be people with, with big heads uh, which, have not, uh, which are not learning very much how to express themselves, how to express their feelings, uh, and also how to use their hand. They need people to, to do the food, to do everything. So they can only use their brain. So therefore, I think it's a common st struggle all over to, to, to have respect for, 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 for the hard subjects, you know, singing, uh, music, uh, writing, uh, creative writing, etc. And also our hands. We should be able to make our own food, to decorate our houses, to build our houses, to, to take care of our gardens, etc. So there should be gardens and what we saw, horses and, and so on, practical things at all levels in, in education. I know it's also there to some extent and also in many other countries, but it's so important uh, to create the whole human being and not just half. Next. No exams. We have already heard that uh, Grundvi, he hated exams. And uh, so therefore he said in folk high schools there should be no exams. Uh, it should be the curiosity which, and good teachers which, which should be the main thing. So, so we have no uh, exams in folk high schools. Uh, uh, people get a paper when they leave. Uh, on which subjects they have ta taken, etc. But we don't use, uh, 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 we don't have any exams when they have been there for, for three months. Of course, in, in the public system, in the formal system, there are exams, and uh, but only exams in the last year where, where you leave the school in the ninth class or maybe tenth class. But in the university and 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 high school, there are lots of exams, and there Grundvi has not won. We have won it in, 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 we can say, primary education, uh, lower secondary education to a little extent in, in, in high schools. But when you come to university, it's, it's still the old days to a great extent. But of course, they have new methods. They have project work and, and, and so on. But, but there's still a lot to struggle for uh, in, in, in Denmark. Grundvi has won the, the children and, and the teenagers but not, not, not the higher things. Let's go to the next. The living world. Old days, we have already heard a little bit about it. There you see uh, a man, one of the founders of the folk high schools and one of the important folk high schools, Asko folk high school, uh, Skrøder was his name. He was good to speak to people. 
And what's, uh, what is the main thing in practice for a teacher uh, uh, to think of the living words? It is, you must be a good communicator. Uh, you can't be a folk high school teacher if you are not a good communicator. Uh, it's not enough to know your, your subjects, etc. You should also be able to the living words. Of course, you can write, but sometimes people fall asleep when, when they uh, read long papers. But you should be able to, to reach people uh, uh, with a good speech, with a good communication. And I can tell you, in all my uh, many years as a teacher, I have been standing before the mirror and then I have given the speech I would give next day. So I have used as much time on communication methods, going to courses in public uh, 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 education, uh, public speaking, etc., because you must be able to, to, to communicate and reach people's hearts. And of course, it's good if you use um, your own experiences, you, you use quotations, you, you use, uh, uh, as I say, uh, 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 things which are, are common to, to, to students and so on, actual things, etc. But think a lot of the communicative parts because that's, that's, that's a key. So that is the living word in, in practice, that you think a lot of communication. Next, the living word today. It's more or less the same, but you can see in the background there is a man behind a piano. And nearly all, uh, uh, all uh, classes start with a song. There is something called the folk high school song. And there are uh, many, many hundreds of songs uh, Grundtvig has written many of them, so we start uh, the, the class with a song to create a good atmosphere, to, to create a, a good uh, uh, atmosphere and open people up like oysters. You, you, you open up uh, people's hearts. And then there would be a, 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 a talk maybe by a, by a person, uh, half an hour, uh, uh, 45 minutes, if it's a course like that, it, it, it's for elders, it's a short course. Uh, we have also many short courses where people who, who are uh, older, you know, uh, who are working and then in the holiday they come to a short course. Uh, so then the speaker will talk for let's say half an hour, uh, 40 minutes, and then there would be discussion. Or maybe group work as you have it today. Because this interaction, uh, this uh, dialogue is so important. You have to be able to share what, what you have heard with others. Uh, and, and, and hear their uh, opinions. And then let me uh, give you also my view of, of language. Uh, now uh, Mitsuru, he put a lot of emphasis on, on the Danish language. There I have to say there is a debate on this thing about uh, language. Uh, the, uh, this thing about it's only Danish which is important. Uh, I don't quite agree, and, and many also folk high school teachers, they think it's also necessary to adapt to this world uh, uh, we are in. So we think, uh, yes, it's very important to have your mother tongue, but it's also important to have another, uh, what should I say, language, where you can meet the rest of the world. Try to think of, of, of me as a Dane. I'm, I'm a Dane, uh, uh, a Danish national, but I'm also a national of the European Union, 28 countries. Uh, we vote every fifth year. There is uh, free borders. We don't uh, show our passport. There, there is free movement uh, for, for our labor uh, market, free movement for commodities. So it's basically one country. And we use English for, for this, uh, 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 this communication. And when I meet here, I speak English. So my opinion as a folk high school teacher, uh, it is the, the Danish language, national language, yes, but it's also good to have another international uh, language where I can meet you and people from all the other countries. I think it is creating more peace in the world that we can talk to uh, the enemies in the same language. So, so <laughs> I'm for a world with two languages. Uh, and also, don't forget, uh, identity-wise, 
you could say, but you are a Dane, you have a Danish identity. No, it's more complicated. I am a Dane, I'm a European, and I'm also a world citizen uh, by identity. So I have at least, and I have more identities, I'm also a teacher, so I have an identity of the teacher. And this mul multipl multiplicity, I think we have to take into consideration. So therefore I belong to this group in the Folk High School who think it's not so big a problem with, <laughs> with English. That is also necessary. But we should not let English take over. That's also important. So it's walking on two legs really a balance and walking on two legs. That, 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 that's my uh, opinion. And we must not go to uh, any of the two sides, neither being nationalistic nor, nor completely forgetting our, our national identity. We have to work with that. Next. Learning for life, I think, also is very important. We have to, 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 to design a curriculum. Uh, where we, we teach, uh, what shall I say, what is important for our students at the level where they are. They should know their local history, the local nature, uh, uh, etc. They should, it's also learning for life to be practical, to, 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 to be able to, to make your own garden, what I said before, with the hands. So, so we should never forget uh, this thing with uh, 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 heart uh, 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 subjects etc., and with hand subjects. That's also part of this learning for life. So not just theories, but also the other things. And, and really, uh, in Danish schools, uh, there are also many discussions. Now I attended before, there was a lot of, 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 of uh, talks which I didn't understand. And I'm very sorry for that, because I would have liked to hear what you are discussing. But it is so important that those points came up so, so I, I'm very happy you, ha you have this discussion because it's a way forward. It's to hear what the people are saying and then adapt uh, to that. And that has something to, to do with learning for life. Maybe students say, we would like to have a class on what is going on in the Middle East, okay? Then we put off that and discuss that. Maybe we would like to, to discuss our opinion about a certain thing, then there should be place in the curriculum to take those actual discussions, uh, uh, to, to hear the students. So always be responsive, responsive to what, what needs there are in, in, in your group. And there we have a big problem, and the big problem are the bureaucrats sitting in the capitals who are just saying uh, that, they, that students should learn this and this and this. And, so, so, so I'm fighting for more freedom for schools, more freedom to teachers. That is the way uh, forward. Less, uh, less bureaucrats. We have the same problems as in many countries that things are far, far too centralized. And we cannot have this learning for life unless we have a big amount of freedom. So I hope that, that, that that's something you'll bring uh, from here. Work for, for, for this freedom, because otherwise we cannot have learning for life. Next. And then something which maybe is, a big, is the most important for you to tell you. It is the, uh, the concept of curiosity. Because you can say, you can ask me, but uh, what, how should we, uh, what should I say, motivate people to learn if we don't have exams? And then my answer to you would be curiosity. Curiosity we find especially among children and young people. They are very curious. Uh, 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 you know, small children, if, if you let them into a room, they would go around and investigating uh, everything. Young people, they are the first ones to take, to try to find out of techniques and internet and, and so on, because they are so curious. So there is a very, very potent force called curiosity. And schools and teachers, they have to find and release this curiosity. So this is the alternative to, uh, to exams. It is to, 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 to find, I mean, teachers and schools which can find the curiosity which all young people and all children have. We just have to design the school system so it comes up. You can see there, uh, those two uh, 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 children, they're very interested in something and then there's a, a teacher just ready to explain. So we should always 
be willing to meet the students where they are. And, and uh, I'm just thinking of uh, the first year I was at school, I was a folk high school teacher. And I asked another experienced uh, one, what is most important uh, when you deal with, with young people? And he said, it is to like them. It is to like young people. So teachers, they must first of all like young people and try to be where they are. If they think they are a nuisance or they make too big noise, etc., uh, then I think uh, the problem is not with the students, it's with the teacher and maybe with the school system. Because uh, they, this school system and those teachers have not been able to, to find this curiosity, which is there, and it's a huge and strong force. But our system are not thinking that way. And even our teachers are also sometimes not thinking. So a teacher should first uh, and uh, first and foremost like the children and try to find the curiosity, curiosities and then use this very strong uh, force. Next. Dialogue and discussion, so important uh, also. Um, because uh, uh, you are not just learning uh, to listen to people who give lectures one way. You learn a lot also from interaction with other people, with, all, with other young people, with your parents, with your friends, etc. Learning takes place everywhere. It's not just in schools, it's not just from books. It, it is meeting other people, uh, your, your parents, your friends, ev everybody. And, and you are, I mean, we are all, as, as we are all teachers and learners. And, and, and sometimes we are in one capacity, sometimes we're in another one. But all the time there's learning go, going on. Uh, we should just be aware of that. So the worst thing, it's teachers who think, I know everything and, and the students know nothing. This is really old fashioned. We are both teachers, uh, we should just be aware of that. So the worst thing, it's teachers who think, I know everything and, and the students know nothing. This is really old fashioned. We are both teachers and learners. Never, never forget that. For instance, uh, with regard to, to internet and iPhones and so on, I have learned a lot from my children. So when I don't know anything, I just go to those who know something. For instance, young people, and I tell them, tell me this and that, and they tell me that. So, so, so they were the, the, you can say they were the teacher, and I was the, the learner. So, so, so see all potential people also as teachers. They can teach you a lot. Uh, never forget that. And you get that, of course, through uh, dialogue and discussion. And we would later discuss in groups, and it's so important. And never forget this group work or, or people discussing two and two or, or what it is. It's so important because we are then opening up and, and uh, giving our interpretation, and we all learn from it. Next. Local. I, I'm very happy to, to see what is going on here in Ladakh. Uh, here is a group which is very local oriented, and, and that is just right. That's how it should be. We should take our point of departure in where we are living, the, the nature, the history, uh, the religions maybe, uh, I mean, which are there. And, and it should be the foundation for, for, for the learning. Uh, think also children in biology classes, they could just go outside and, and, and then they have uh, a nature just, uh, uh, just outside instead of just reading books. So, so, so we have in the local thing, you can go out like they're doing uh, out, out to a lake and then investigating all the life which is there. And of course there should be a teacher who could answer the questions. And of course also uh, books are important and teachers in the classes, but you should out and you should learn from what is going on and, and what are there in, in, in the local. So the local principle, yes, very, very important. Next. Then teacher and student uh, community. Uh, this is uh, from uh, IPC. Uh, in the end of a term, all the students, they are uh, gathered and, and they're also teachers. So in IPC, for instance, to give you this example, nearly all the teachers, they are living at the campus. 
We are living there. We are eating together with, with the students. And uh, we are communicating all the time, not just in classes, but also outside. And students are coming to us to, to ask questions about this and that. And we are there. Uh, and it is from this philosophy I told you before that each in that community is a teacher and learner. And now I have just the last five minutes. <laughs> but we are also soon finished. Next. Uh, yeah, and then another perspective. I'll just read what is there so, uh, so we all get that. Another perspective is we are not only workers, employees, we are also citizens, creative beings, innovative beings. And what I want to say with that, it is that it is as if a lot of the edu formal education, it's geared to us as, as to the labor market, us as, as employees, as workers and so on. That's what a lot of knowledge is, is there for. But we should not forget um, there is all, we are also citizens. We are also citizens. We have voting rights. There are, we should take part in the debates, etc. And, and that we should also take up in, 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 in schools, etc. And, and, and teach our young people how to be critical, how to discuss, how to read newspapers and so on. So active citizens. The best medicine against uh, corruption, it is critical uh, 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 citizens. Because why are we accepting co corruption? I mean, uh, it's, it's other people who are running. Why are we not running? So we should always be aware of, we should be educated to be critical and, and uh, citizens who can take part. And then I also uh, are saying these creative beings, it is to learn song and all this. I have said that. Next. And now we are nearly finished. You can... Uh, Maybe uh, hardly see that, but the main thing is that I saw it just some days ago on, on the internet, and uh, there was a pooling of, of all investigations of how are students learning, how is learning taking place most effectively, and the most effective learning is to teaching each other. It is if two are together and one shows the other part uh, this thing, or, or when a, a teacher is, is standing with one uh, child and just uh, telling this and that. So this person-to-person -person teaching, it's the most effective teaching way we at all have, and where people, they, they can remember it. The next is practice by doing. So when people do something with their hands, and they're singing, etc., it's very, very important practice by doing, then they learn. The next is discussing groups. When you are together in groups and you share your opinions, etc., very important. The next, it is to, to dem it's demonstration. It means showing something, uh, a, a, a physics demonstration, for instance. The next, I can hardly see it now, but, but the, what is the next? It's all audiovisual. Uh, and the next is reading. And see the, uh, the last one. Can you read that? Lecturing. Yeah, it, and that is interesting. It's, it's lecturing. That's the least effective of all ways to learn. Only 5% of all learning takes place in, uh, in lecturing. There's this teacher who knows everything and the students know nothing. So, the, so, so, so we should know that. This is not the way to learn. Of course, sometimes there could be a lecture, but it should be, there should be a lot of other things. Lecturing, it was what Grundtvig said, it, it is, it's a death. He, he said Folkhøjskole school should be a school of life, not a school of death. And lecturing, and that's why I should not speak more. And uh, so uh, the very last one, no, the second last one, it means active learning. And then the, the last one, uh, it is uh, the last word to Einstein. It's a miracle that curiosity survives formal education. So, uh, so in, in fact, formal education often kills this uh, curiosity, but the curiosity is so strong. 